Wives' Tale. It's a series of superstitions that was passed on through generations to predict the gender of the baby. I've never done this before, obviously. <laughs> or, or I didn't even know that, that, uh, that this existed, but uh, I guess it's a thing. And obviously it's not a guarantee or 100%, but it's just, you know, it's a fun game to predict the gender of your baby. So, what do you think it's gonna be? I think, I kind of think it's a boy, just because I've been craving bananas. I that is true. Feeling. That is true. So initially, I think, what were you, three weeks, four weeks? Six weeks, she started craving bananas, like a lot. And, she, and they say that if you're craving bananas, you're having Most a boy. likely having a boy. And what is odd is I that know, just, Jenny, I have a feeling it's a boy. She doesn't eat fruits or vegetables <laughs> ever before the pregnancy, so it's like super weird. But we'll see. I am happy with her one, but I do want a girl, so we'll see. I want to give you a bump update too. So I'm currently 18 weeks pregnant. Look. Boink. Look at that. Boink. <laughs> I can feel the baby a lot now. It's kicking all the time. Anywho, sis, without further ado, let's get started. So morning sickness. I had morning sickness in my first trimester, but then it went away during my second trimester. Yeah, but that was a whole three months process. You, you guys have seen it. Bad. I had I wish I recorded it. It was so funny. Every time she went to the bathroom, she'd be like, Bleh. Yeah. Everywhere I went, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Alright, so yes. Yeah. Let's see. There you go. Oh, it's working. Okay. Alright. Uh, next, uh, craving. Salty or sweet? Sweet because you're craving bananas. Chocolate. Lately, you're craving chocolate. Chocolate croissants. Chocolate croissants. <laughs> I love chocolate croissants right now. I had to go buy the city chocolate croissant, so yeah. I drove like 10 minutes just to find me some chocolate croissant. I know, the struggles in the city. There we go, sweet. Next question, emotions, relax and moody. Moody 100%. <laughs> no arguments there. Backtrack, she she's, was moody pre-pregnancy. So I think it's just moody and steroids now. At the same time, right now, we have a lot going on in our lives. Still, moody. <laughs> okay. And next, cold feet. Have she always has coffee. Mm -hmm. She has to wear socks around the house all day. She has slippers around the house. Also, too, I'm just always cold in general. Her body is always like, cold. I could be in 80 degree weather and I'm still it's just cold. cold. It's cold. Like here, we're, we're in San Diego now and it's like 80 degrees every day, all day. And guess what? I was be carrying a coat. <laughs> She's wearing a coat. The coat that she wears in San Francisco all the time. I'm like, you're crazy. Her feet are always cold at night. Like when, when we get to, to bed to sleep, it's I have to warm them up before so I go yeah. to sleep. So that is a yes. Graceful. Balance. Have I been clumsy or graceful? I don't know. Graceful? I don't know. Well, what do you think? I'm good to you. I don't think I'm clumsy. You're not graceful either. <laughs> I don't know. Can we put it in between? Is this a maybe? No, you have to pick maybe something. I have to pick something. Okay, maybe you're clumsy. Clumsy? I you think I'm clumsy right now? You, you always go to clumsy, so you're the same. Really? Clumsy. Okay. Let's do it. Baby's heart rate. Below 140 where's, where's or above 140? Let's check if it shows on the sonogram. Well, good luck. Because I don't even know. I wish I knew. The long story short, COVID, the hospital where she gets care. I mean, it's good that they're still, you know, being social distancing because of COVID, but it's it's sad for me because uh, they don't let me. She has never seen the baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, I I, I seen the sonograms and the pictures after the fact, but not like just pictures. Live. Heartbeat. Being in the room, hearing the baby. Yeah, that's it. So it's a little sad. But the good news is that we're changing doctors soon since we, you know, we moved from San Francisco to, to so now to here. So hopefully they let him in. So hopefully it's different now and I'm able to be there in person and experience those feelings with my firstborn. So TBD and then hopefully they let us record too. Because that's the thing. <laughs> they're like, okay, you, they're not going to let me in. So I told Jolene, can you just record for me? And they're like, no, no, no. Oh yeah, they don't even let me take pictures or record. We have like the printed pictures, which is what the we... The ultrasound pictures? Yeah. I wasn't allowed to take videos or pictures. I wasn't allowed to have him in the room. Struggles. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully the other doctor is a little more open. TBD, do you have a heart rate in there? Mm. We're looking at the ultrasound. I don't know how to read this. I don't think so. Too deep. I'm gonna say the baby has a huge heart, <laughs> and therefore a lot of heartbeats. What's the other one? Skin. Oh, dry or soft? I'll let you decide on that one. I think dry because I've been having rashes lately. Not just that. I think your first trimester are, are 
don't know if you remember. What? You were peeling like a snake. Oh my god, I was experiencing every single pregnancy symptom ever, I swear. Yeah, yeah. So my, in the first trimester, my skin was peeling, it was so weird. So dry. My whole arm Your whole body. Peeling. My whole body yeah. was peeling, it was so peeling. weird. Yeah. And then now, at 18 weeks, I'm getting a lot of rashes. Through it. I know, but it's it's crazy. Like the beginning, she got rashes, she got morning sickness, she was getting headaches, she was bloated, everything. When and what's funny about that is that all her family, none of them had any symptoms. They're like, oh, my what? mom, she didn't have yeah. morning sickness. Her auntie, same thing. So that's why I I think it's a boy. Could be a boy. Could be a girl. You guys tell us in the comments what you think, but long story short, she had dry skin for the longest time, my goodness. And what's crazy, she's the she's the outlier in the family. Again, her, her mom, her auntie, her other aunties, they're like, oh, no, I had the easiest pregnancy. Just, they just yeah, and pop. they had girls. And they had girl. okay, so there you go, that, that's girls. another sign too, huh? I don't know, boys are a little complicated, it seems that way, huh? Next. Carrie, am I carrying low or high? What does that mean? Like the bump? Yeah. Sorry, obviously first time. Give me four. Can you like stand up a little? I think it's high. I say slow. I don't know. I mean, I see her bump every day. I say it's slow, but you guys put in the comments what you, what you no, think. I think it's high. Look. Let's see. No, because look, okay. So, isn't it low if you have most of the way here? Because you see how like there's not much bump here, but then when you go here, the bump is here. I don't know. We're first time parents. Let's call Abby. Someone spread that to Our us. Mom. Should I call mom? No, call Abby. Abby really knows her baby stuff, it seems to me. Abby, mm. what do you think? Am I carrying high or low? I don't think it really matters right now because you're not really show you're not showing all the way. Oh. Okay, but what but what do you think you gotta pick? Pick one. High or low? I can't answer that. Oh my god, this uh, phone yeah, friend. Yeah. Okay, call the next friend. Okay. Call your mom. <laughs> Bye. Mom. Hi, mom. Hi, what's up? Okay, what do you think? Am I carrying high or low? Neither. <laughs> oh my gosh, someone answer her. Abby didn't answer. Like, middle. Middle? Maybe low. Low? Maybe okay, low. Okay, two for low. Okay, two for okay, low. Okay, thank you, mom. Okay, but hold on. If it's a boy, I'm not trying to groom them, but it will be a dream of mine if they become a football player. So, why not? Football player? Come on, boxing. Oh, we could do boxing too, but football player, boxing. I think that'd be cool. Anyways, uh, next question headaches. And again, when was that? At the same time, I have high blood pressure. Mm, blood too. But at, the, but, yes. but at the beginning, you had a lot of headaches. Yeah. So. Alright. Yeah, as it is. That's kind of scary, Mr. Boy. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, what is it? Oh, I'll sleep inside. I know this answer, but I'll let you. One, two, three. Right. Right. It's a little late, but. Right. I always sleep on my She always sleeps on the right. Okay, you know why? Because I'm always on the edge of the bed. Always. Always. <laughs> Like it doesn't matter how big the bed is, I'm always on the edge and she has like more than a quarter of the whole bed. Um, anyways, okay, so that's right. There you go. And then you tally. You tally, so. There's one, two, three, four, five for boys. For girls, one, two, three, four. Oh, oh there's a tie! There's a tie! You can see it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me put that. Five. Look at that. Five on five. Is it a boy or a girl? You guys put it on the comments what you think. Plus, we have our gender reveal on Sunday in two days. Just two days from today. Let us know in your comments what you think. Mm -hmm. And we'll send some pictures as soon as we find out. Next, we're gonna do that ring thing that people do over the belly. That's crazy. Five on five. I don't know. I'm liking those odds. <laughs> That's half and half. Okay, but okay, so, so this is the thing. This is the, the deal breaker. We do not know the heart rate of the baby, which means if this is wrong. Last time I think it was 160, somewhere around there. Oh my god. The baby was crazy, so, it was jumping oh. around. <laughs> but yeah, if this is wrong and it's actually less than 40, then it's a boy. Then it's a boy. Find out on Sunday. Okay, have all, all, all of our boxing dreams. Anyways, this next step. We found out that it's called the ring gender test and we're looking up right now how to do it. The instructions, it says lie on your back and have another person dangle the bread over your baby bump. If it's back and forth, so like this, mm -hmm. then it's a baby boy. If the ring moves in a circle, oh, it's a girl then. Then it's a girl. Okay. So let's go team circle. Okay, let's go later. Okay, okay, can we do it on the bed? 
I'll just do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, and three. I don't know. You gotta be patient. Oh, the baby boy. Oh. Look at that. I'm gonna have a boxer after all. Are you shaking them? No, look, I'm not even doing anything. You know, trust me, I'm literally not doing anything. I think you're shaking. No, I'm not shaking, look. I'm not shaking. Look, I'm not even moving, I'm not even breathing. One more time, one more time. Alright, here it goes. Team Girl. There it goes, back and forth, you see that? There's no way in. Oh, shoot. There's no way it can do a circle. I don't know how people do in a circle. That's just some magic trick up in there. I'm not even doing anything. It's like a ghost moving it. I don't, oh, look at that. Look. Back and forth? Yeah. The energy has spoken. It is a boy. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. Oh my. That is a boy. It's a boy, everybody. Alright, well, here he goes. Okay, let's try Abby. Auntie's turn. What is that? See, is it just my ring? Yeah, I think I, I usually do it with a string. Number two. We changed it to a strand of hair. That's so what NC says. Let's see. Is that a circle or a straight? Straight. See, it's just going straight. Yeah, that's straight. That's going back and forth. Look at that. That's me. One, two, go. Back and forth. This keeps going back and forth. We just tried on our auntie and it was on circles. It's the boy. He has never once been in circles. Alrighty, we're gonna end the video here. Let us know what you think. Is it a girl? Boy? Or a boy. So far, team boy is winning. I don't know, it's a shocker. <laughs> I'm not the only expecting that one's a girl. Oh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We two have days. our gender reveal party in two days. So. Stay tuned, we'll post uh, the gender reveal on Monday. On next week. Oh. But you're already gonna know this video is gonna be up on the receipt on Sunday, so never mind. <laughs> we'll post the gender reveal party next week, so stay tuned. Bye! Bye.